Hello, welcome beautiful souls. Today we are going to discuss the Sagittarius lunar eclipse, which is a super full moon happening in the fiery sign, the mutable sign of Sagittarius. It is a super moon because it is very close to Earth. It is also known as the blood moon because the reflection, reflection of Earth will put a hue of a reddish orangey color on the moon and it is also known as the uh, flower moon because it is the first full moon that is taking place in the month of May so eclipses are always amplified energy and when we're speaking with the Sun with the North Node in Gemini illuminating the moon this is bringing forth a culmination it's bringing forth an awareness in our feelings it has the opportunity to have us bring into our awareness perhaps belief systems that we have been taught here on the earth plane starting out in youth because Gemini is about the youthful energy it's the third sign of the zodiac zodiac where it's about learning so many of us are gonna I feel come into an awareness on our feelings with it being amplified with a full moon in Sagittarius of what we learned when we were younger, perhaps about belief systems, perhaps letting go of belief systems that don't really resonate with us, but that we were taught in our youth. The higher aspect of this is having an understanding and an understanding of who we are today perhaps we don't resonate with the things that we were taught in our childhood perhaps we don't resonate with the things that we were taught in school and so many of us may have an amplified awareness or something coming to culmination with what our beliefs are what the, what they were taught to us in our youth and perhaps what they resonate what doesn't resonate with us now so we're preparing this energy in the Sagittarius full super lunar eclipse on belief systems. And it is sitting in the position of Sagittarius with the south node. So the south node is the collective uh, karma, the collective things that we need to let go of. The sun is illuminating this moon in Gemini, and it is in this aspect with the north node. That's what creates the eclipses. When it makes these aspects and conversations uh, within each other, as above, so below, right, with illumination. And that north node in Gemini is where we're needing to kind of, kind of balance out the north node and the south node. It's the balance within us. Perhaps many of us reflecting upon belief systems. Uh, a lot of us getting more information, more awareness with that Gemini energy of what our belief systems are now may not be what they were as we were taught when we were younger. So it's a finding the middle ground within yourself to what resonates with you. And as a collective, I believe that many of us are reflecting upon what school has taught us, what religion has taught us, what our parents have taught us, anything that has to do with authority, with that Sagittarius energy, we really do have an opportunity. I feel very optimistic, which is very Sagittarius energy. Try not to be too over optimistic, but to bring into your awareness of the collective planting the seed within you as co-creators to what we would like more so going forward. We cannot omit the energy of Saturn and Uranus being in these continued squares throughout 2021 because Uranus energy is the new innovative ways and Saturn is, you know, the ways we've always done it. So for me as a student of astrology, as I always say, relearning astrology, because I do have indications in my natal chart that I've been an astrologer in past lives. I am not um, on paper an astrology today, but it is definitely something within my soul that is a passion. So the, again, that Saturn old energy and Uranus energy new ways, again, finding the balance in between 
to where we can find the common ground as a collective <laughs> to take forth the wisdom of the past, Saturn wisdom on the higher aspect, to innovative ways with the Uranus energy. We can't omit that because it's all playing in with all of the energy above and below within us. So it's opportunities and my outlook, my passion of learning or remembering or being a student of astrology is to kind of be a, an evolutionary astrologer, meaning work with the energy for the better um, at, through, through our awareness. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'm very chatty and um, I believe with this Sagittarius lunar eclipse that we all do have the opportunity to, we will no doubt because it's a super full lunar eclipse that emotions will be high. It's important to not over exaggerate, over exaggerate with the Sagittarius energy. That's kind of the lower aspect. It's important for us to bring into our awareness that the human experience is for us to utilize the gifts that we've used, uh, utilized in the past, the life things that we've been through and experienced to evolve us into, you know, more of our soul's journey. So that's my approach on being a student and a sharer of astrology. And I hope that you enjoy my channel and thanks for being here with me. So this Sagittarius lunar eclipse is happening on May 26th at 7.14 a.m. That is Eastern Standard Time. And again, like I said, that sun, <coughs> excuse me, always sinus issues in the state that I'm in. The weather's crazy. That uh, Gemini sun is shining over. It's in an opposition to the moon that is in Sagittarius, both mutable. Um, those are opposing signs. So Gemini is an air sign ruled by Mercury and the planet of Mercury is in that home sign of Gemini along with Venus and the North Node. Again, it's illuminating that moon in Sagittarius. It's that belief systems that Sagittarius can be very optimistic and so utilize this energy as such. Again, the Uranus Saturn energy is old ways, new ways, and the North Node is about the collective consciousness. South Node, collective consciousness, more of the past, past karma. Um, I believe many of us on the light worker journey are already on our path of doing our shadow work and healing that karma. So what it could be for you is an optimism on a new set of belief systems. But again, with it being mutable energy, be open and pay attention to expanded or over exaggerated emotions at this time. Channel that energy in a healthy way because the ruling planet of Sagittarius is Jupiter and Jupiter is with Neptune in its home sign of Pisces. So expansion of things. We always have to, it, they all communicate with each other just as they are communicating with us. If we just allow this opportunity to take us on our evolution and allow the energy to work for us. So a lot of information with the Gemini, um, it could create on the lower aspect, a lot of confusion, a lot of mind chatter. And if you are on the low aspect of it, you could be taking in too much information, which is that Neptunian energy could create confusion. It's also known to Pisces is known, which to be very spiritual, um, and the duality, there's always a lower aspect and a higher aspect. So we can take that time to tap into our higher selves, our collective consciousness, our spiritual essence for the information and the balance that we are. Basically, it's imperative for humans to evolve, to listen to that God self, to listen to the higher power and that innate within you 
to benefit you and not hold on to the past not be too fixed in your belief systems and not being open. So again, with this mutable energy, it is beneficial for the whole to stay open, to caution against taking in too much information. With Neptune and Jupiter, things could get expanded and taken out of context and blown out of proportion too fast, especially deception. So what information are you taking in? Does it make your vibration feel higher? Um, are you listening to your intuition? Are you calming the mind to bring it down into the heart space to be in that union for allowing that to benefit you? So clarity. And it is important now more than ever to be authentic and to question yourself why you're doing things. Are they of an integrity? Are they because you feel that as you rise, the collective rises? Or are you doing things to be a people pleaser? Are you doing things seeking reward? Are you doing things to seek gratification? It is more powerful than ever once we get in that universal flow and finding your passion to be authentic and as you do that, as you step forward with your passions, you have the opportunity to call in the universal flow and alignment, which is everything will be just as it's supposed to be, and that you trust that divine guidance. And so what else do I would like to share here before we get into the Sabian symbol and some beautiful divine uh, oracle messages for this Sagittarius lunar eclipse? Lilith. Um, Lilith is still in Taurus. And so that can bring up a lot of fears over uncertainty. I'm sorry. Lilith is still in Taurus. I hope I said that. I don't know. Sometimes when I just get in the flow, I forget what I'm, I don't, I don't really mindfully pay attention to what I'm saying. I allow it to flow through me. So, um, Lilith is in conversation at this time with Pluto, which is in the sign of Capricorn. The dark hidden things, the structures, the government, the top-down authority, and she's speaking with Pluto in Capricorn. So you could have fears coming up of what makes you feel comfortable, what makes you feel safe at this time. So allow Lilith within you to surrender allow Lilith to be a passion within you because Lilith Lilith is more about universal uh, justice and it can come through as fear in the earth plane because of being Taurus of monetary or what makes you feel comfort what makes you feel stable so pay attention to that if you have fears coming up over stability, it'd be a great time to utilize that mutable energy um, that's actually within all of us to be open and connect with the divine more and more all the time. Because as you do that, you do have more of a foundation that is permanent. Because the earth plane is always changing. And as we know, in 2020 and 2021, we are collectively going through so many shifts and changes with the help of the Saturn square Uranus that we do need to evolve in new ways. <laughs> and hopefully through the pause of the last year, people went inner because that's really truly where you seek your, your wisdom, your guidance, and your support. God, creator, the universe is the stability that many of us in this human plane um, need to tap into for stability. So we're definitely in a lot of change. So that's where the mutable energy is beneficial because the mutable signs, which we all have within us, is where we can transmute the old belief systems in Sagittarius, what we were taught as a child, sun in Gemini, north node in gemini and a lot of that gemini energy is going to be highlighted so this eclipse in sagittarius 
is going to be a culmination of aha moments, high emotions on our belief systems, philosophy, um, radical faith that we may have had in our governments or our religions. And some people may be shocked and locked at these epiphanies that may come up emotionally. So head towards the North Node in Gemini where the Sun, Venus, and Mercury are because we will be having a solar eclipse that goes along with this where we need to plant the new seed. So the lunar eclipse is a culmination, an ending, an eclipsing out of these old belief systems. And then in June, we will plant a seed as a collective on a new trajectory a new path and for me i feel like it with it being gemini being open to learn to have an understanding as a human being as a spiritual being having a human experience that it's important for us to realize that with that gemini energy that everything here on the earth plane plane is to teach us for us to be open to be teachable to be learn learning and to be that mutable energy of being open for shifts, for changes. So let's get into the Sabian symbol before I do some cards for us. <clears throat> the Sagittarius Lunar Eclipse coming up on May 26th at 7.14 a.m. Eastern Standard Time at 5 degrees, 26 minutes. There's a little bit of a discrepancy there online because some say 25, some say 26, but it's irrelevant when I share the Sabian symbols because we always round up. So we're doing the Sagittarius, six degrees. A game of cricket, sportsmanship. The theme for this Sagittarius lunar eclipse is let the means justify the ends. This symbol speaks to competition and challenge and to no man's compelling need to improve himself or do and be his best. Here is a passion for perfection and burning desire for success and recognition. The image of a game of cricket alludes to moral integrity and to playing fair or by the rules, and it emphasizes the fact that ultimately it is the process or means taken to achieve an obje objective and not to the outcome or final result of the effort that counts in the eternal scheme of things. On the positive aspect, at its highest, this symbol represents personal excellence integrity and strength of character that rejects any win at all cost approach to playing the games of life so in other words we're seeing this on the collective this dog eat dog stuff that is in our faces the fauci's the soros the gates of the world who will lie who will deceive so only they can feel like on the earthly material plane that they are achieving higher and at all costs they will be, you know, deceptive or trying to rule over other people. It ain't going to work. It is not going to work. That's why it's being revealed so in our faces because it's not new. It's just being revealed. So let me, re let me just requote that real quick. At its highest, this symbol represents personal excellence, integrity, so being authentic, not being concerned of what other people think, but in your heart space, being true, being authentic, and having integrity. And the strength of the character that rejects any win-at-all-cost approach to playing games of life. On the negative aspect with this Sagittarius, full super lunar eclipse it is misrepresent misrepresentation or machiavellian tactics i had to look up machiavellian and 
what that means is um, basically not acting in integrity, being mischievous, being a, a cutthroat type of person. So today, the ascent is on being fair and playing by the rules. So we're seeing this, guys, all over. Rules for thee, but not for me. All these people who are not in integrity telling the collective that they need to do this and do that and don't do this, but they're not following the same rules. Guess what? The support now for these things to be revealed and for an end to it to come into culmination is up to us to stop abiding by the tyrannical orders, to stop taking the dictator tater, uh, orders and rules, and to be in, in our integrity. Wow. So the opportunity is your greatest advantage lies in being consistent and, and being in integrity. Do it the right way, even if it is the hard way. So it's about doing right, about doing righteous, no matter who's around, who's listening, not being bought out like the Fauci's and all these other bastards of the world, not taking the, the biting the apple, so to speak, of deception and being in your integrity, more important than ever. So the risk is guard against taking on projects that offer little challenge or competing only with those who have skills that are far below yours in order to guarantee success or an easy win. It's a delusion that others will see through, even if you don't. So that is huge because of that Neptunian energy on the lower aspect with also now Jupiter there. Anybody that is not in integrity will be expanded, will be revealed it's not about cutting corners. It's about what's doing right with integrity in the now, always, because we are on, no doubt, a collective shift. And many of us feel the different timelines, but many of us have to remind others that it's not getting worse. It's getting revealed. And that's more important than ever because deception and the delusions And the lies with that structure energy, the hidden dark things, Pluto energy and Capricorn, will be revealed. We're seeing the purge of the infection now, if you know what I mean. So, don't take shortcuts. Don't sell yourself short. <laughs> Present yourself as in, I walk my walk, not only talk the talk, right? So, the stepping stones... For this Sagittarius lunar eclipse, refinement. So that's pu perfect with the mutable energy. It's about adjusting, being open to shifting and changing of the belief systems that may have been taught to us in our youth with that Gemini energy of learning. That that may not have been what the truth is. And being open to shifting that, refining ourselves. Um, etiquette, sportsmanship. Playing by the rules, so that's your universal rules, not God, not not uh, man's rules, but what is spiritually right for you, what is in your integrity, ethics, morals, scruples, which I didn't know the meaning of that. The scruples is your consciousness that speaks to you when you're not doing something that is in integrity. And we just need to listen to it. Integrity and fairness. So it is all about that right now. Listening to your consciousness. It is the tap on your higher self, God self, your innate telling you, no, 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 no. Is that an integrity? Don't do it if it's not. Because it'll just come back around on you as karma. And we're seeing that with the Fauci's of the world, right? The benefit of being a truther, the benefit of being in integrity is that there's nothing that can come back and bite you in your ass. You don't have to remember what you said because what you spoke is truth and it's in integrity. And you have no need for the competition on this earth plane because you understand that everything we need 
is right here provided for us that we don't need to get into that lack mentality on the earth plane because there's enough for everybody. And so I'm just going to clear my energy before we do some cards. The Sagittarius energy is rules over your um, sacral chakra. So reds and oranges, it'll be a wonderful time for you to do something creative. You know, always ground yourself, connect to spirit, and allow the energy to flow through all of your chakras and meridian systems and allowing that to that creative life force energy on the higher aspect of Sagittarius just really plummet you forward in your faith and your optimism not being disappointed by the things on the earth plane as we're seeing such a purge at this time um, I know that's like it's I'm a work in progress because sometimes with my two eyes I do get frustrated and disappointed but at the end of the day knowing that i'm a spiritual being and reminding you that you are as well that everything we need is right within us so tap into it God, creator, source, the divine white light, the ruler of the universe, to be in my presence, to allow me to clearly communicate some messages for this Sagittarius full super lunar eclipse that is taking place here shortly. We just would like to tap into the energy to have some inspiring, encouraging, uplifting, and even messages of awareness to work with the energy for the benefit of the highest good of those who tune in and listen so that we may anchor the light and may have an optimism to set the set the tone to be the example to be in an integrity we ask this in the truth in your way in your name in the way and so it is thank you So ironically, guys, my nodes are the very opposite of what the collective nodes are right now. So I definitely feel like I'm floating on my spiritual stream, the opposite direction of the collective, which is probably good, even though I can still tap into the energies. I'm not attached to them anymore. Uh, most times, I'm not saying I don't falter because I am human, right? But the beautiful part about it is I do feel an optimism and I do believe there's nothing on the earth plane that can shake me or break me because my faith in my optimism is so strong in the divine and that there's a purpose that you and I and a plan that we're all here at this time is because we're built for it. We're freaking warriors. We can do it. And we were made for this time, even though it's been difficult, right? Um, so let's just get a first chakra oracle message for this Sagittarius lunar eclipse. So if I had everybody's charts, I could do specific readings. I have done a few personal readings in the past, so if you'd like to reach out to me, you go to my home page, because I do feel that that will be what it's going to be going forward. Um, on my channel, if you click on the banner, you'll see other uh, platforms that I'm on, and there's also an email address where you can reach out to me for private readings. And that is where I do the personal birth chart because I can get more intimate with you. Um, and if you're not interested in that, you can just, you know, join me if you resonate or like or feel uplifted by what I share here on my channel. Destiny. So we got the sh silver chakra for the Sagittarius lunar eclipse and the silver cards in my chakra deck are neutral neutrality so that's divine spiritual 
um, guidance. So we have the opportunity here to get on our paths of our destiny, to remember that we're spiritual, to balance your feminine, your masculine, to embrace the darkness that you may have come up with the set with the um, Lilith energy that I shared, to get on our path and to be thankful for the experiences that we've had, to again never condone what you've been through, but where have you played the part in it? So getting on your destiny with the nodes nodes at this time with this lunar eclipse is highly supported right now. It's to remember that you're here as a spiritual being, having a human experience, that you're here for far more greater. I got to click off my screen because there's a flashing um, ad or whatever that's distracting me. Sorry about that. So get on your path. And this is about being open to the shifts and changes to understand that you are here for a far greater purpose, a divine purpose. We were never intended to be in lack, in competition, to have our, our, our sovereignty infringed upon. So now is the time with this Sagittarius lunar eclipse to allow whatever feelings and emotions and belief systems to arise within you up for evaluation and some things need to maybe go and to get on your path of destiny it's about gratitude I feel like with the dark and the light here on the knees and then the prayer position with these um, say elders that be in your higher self to find the gratitude to find the gratitude and to trust that you are here at this time for a purpose so that's beautiful that we have spiritual, um, we always have spiritual guidance, but it's coming up here with the Sagittarius lunar eclipse energy. So now from my Queen of the Moon Oracle, we will draw a message. I think that helps me a lot is to understand that I am here for a reason. I've been through things that are very difficult, but I've taken forth the lessons and I've seen the blessings in that and understand that, wow, I must be a really spirit, a really special and you must be a very special person to be here at this time through this evolution of our souls to not be distracted by all the shenanigans and the fuckery that's happening as these old structures, as these, like the Sabian symbol said, <laughs> those people that will do and say whatever they need to do to feel like they're getting on top of, of the world. Because I guess what? It all ends for them too. So they're not really getting anywhere and they're not really fooling anybody. And the more and more as we're evolving into this Aquarian energy and the Aquarian age, it will be more imperative than ever with the Uranus square Saturn to be in integrity because this friction of old ways, new ways can't continue. We have to find common ground to take the wisdom of the Saturn energy to be innovative in the Uranus energy. And that is the evolution. So that's cool. What else for the Sagittarius lunar eclipse? And that's it. The path. Well, that's crazy. Because look at destiny and path. And I see this with this ladder, right? And she's looking up to that window to that open, vast, green, beautiful sunrise. The moon is in the back, right, of the path. It may feel like you're in a darkness at this time, but to trust that you are here, this is your destiny, do your work, remember your sovereignty, to step on your path, you have the opportunity in this solar eclipse, in Sagittarius, to have a new radical belief system in extreme faith, that you are here at this time. It's about getting on your path. That way, when as we move forward into the solar eclipse in Gemini that will be taking place in June, we have the opportunity to plant the seed. So get on your path now and remind yourself 
often, as often as you need to, that this is your destiny. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So which deck? Let's do a few tarot. I'm almost out of coffee. It's important to allow your, once you get an integrity and you reclaim your sovereignty and you remind yourself as often as you need to, you know, we are still human. <laughs> and so it's easily, we can easily get pulled into all the information right now, but you have to trust that you do not have to have the fear of missing out on things because there's always somebody outside of you who will tell you what you need to think, tell you what you need to believe. Those structures that the information's coming out on are falling and breaking as we speak. So it's important for you now to understand your destiny is to get on your path. We come in and we go out. We take nothing with us. So what is it that you're truly passionate about, right? Because that is a, a very key thing with the Sagittarius energy is we have the opportunity to have a superior confidence right now in optimism and enthusiasm when it comes to our faith. And again, I feel with this being a full super lunar eclipse that many of us will have, you know, there could be emotions coming up and going, that Gemini energy, sun shining on the moon, what I was taught when I was a child in my youth, and it's also about siblings. It's about learning and, you know, your first learning experience in school. It's about what you've learned from even family, that it may not be anything that resonates with you now. So having emotions come up with that could be possible at this time as well. And reminder, everybody's here teaching us to never discredit because some people teach you lessons, some people teach you blessings, and once you claim your sovereignty, you follow your destiny, you walk the path of integrity, you then become powerful. And the, the lessons of all the karma, those days end for you, you start, you know, creating the good juju for yourself. And you get in that vibration of calling in, gifting, and beautiful blessings. So we got the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands. Six of Swords. Air energy, intellect. To me, air energy is also spirit. So, ether. So we got tranquility ahead, and I love this field. It always reminds me of a lavender field. It's soothing. It's comforting, it's aromic, it, it can create a tranquility to remember that you are on your destiny. And once you do that and you step on your path, that is when you will have more balance, more harmony. The balance of facing your shadows, balancing your masculine, your feminine. You step into your destiny, you get on your path, and it truly does create magic and tranquility and comfort and soothing. And just as I was saying at the beginning of this, connecting to spirit every day in my body, embodying this, feeling my safety and my comfort from the spiritual knowingness of who I am, who you are as a spiritual being, and that you're here at this time for a divine destiny. That used to be the name of my Facebook group, actually. That used to be the name of my YouTube channel as well. So, Six of Wands is about fire. It's that Sagittarius optimism. It's that passion. It's that sacral chakra that's represented by this eclipse of success and recognition. And let me tell you, just like the Sabian symbol, are you seeking recognition? Because the only person that you should be seeking recognition from at the end of the day is yourself by being in your integrity, by trusting your path and getting on it. What makes you tick? This, this in astrology, being a student of and share of, 
through communication is mine. What's yours? Let me know in the comments. This is where you can feel the freedom, feel the passion, feel that creative sacral chakra that you are here to succeed that creator actually intended for all of us to succeed and when you do that and you get on your path the calm the peace and the passion is just ignites the fire within you so we'll do one more i am affirmation for this sagittarius lunar eclipse Stay open, stay mutable, pay attention to allowing emotions of all sorts are healthy when we channel them in healthy ways. So bring into your awareness that everything can be expanded with the ruling planet Jupiter being in Pisces. Do not choose escapism. Face everything. Face your shadows. Face your hurts. Face your wounds. Be real and raw with your genuine, authentic self, feelings, emotions. That's how we channel the energy and get on our path. It creates tranquility within us. And we have the opportunity ahead with the Sagittarius lunar eclipse to do just that. Again, Six of Swords 2 is like balancing the intellect, balancing the thought in the heart, in your heart, creating I feel safe. And this is funny. I had a channeled message after meditation the other night. And my message, and I am guess I'm being called to share it here with you guys, is I am safe, I am loved, and I am supported. That was a message that came through to me after I was meditating the other night. And so I guess that's the perfect thing to share with you guys to remind yourself as well that you are safe. You create the safety within you by connecting to the divine. That you are love embodied and that you are supported by something far greater. The great spirit, right? I am willing to change. Change is in the air, guys. We have mutable energy. Gemini and Sagittarius and Pisces. So listen, and it's also representative mutable is Aquarius as well. We have two big planets, Jupiter and Neptune in Pisces, can be very spiritual. We can tap into our intuition, trust it. We have the Sagittarius full, super flower, blood moon. There's a lot to that. So this is huge, right? Everything's amplified. Be open, the Gemini energy, to changes Shifting our beliefs, shifting our perspectives, being open to learn and unlearn and let go of things. Get on your path. I wish the best for all of you. You have it within you. You are here on this path. It is your destiny. Make it the best you can. I'm feeling very optimistic. Stay present. And as always, meditate and deep breathe. Shalom.